All right. Okay. So we got this question on Instagram. Uh, I'm getting really good at weighing my roti and my milk for cha. Base. Uh, my question is, how do I accurately calculate calories of dal sabji that I don't make? For example, my mom made dal makhani today. I enter it into my fitness pal and I got estimated calories. Is this the right way to go about this? So great question. And my response to that is this is where the food enjoyment matrix really comes into play okay um let's let's go into my fitness pal here and my guy mike yanda killing it okay see a little bit of what i ate today and actually i need to add uh real quick so I had a drink, so I'm going to add that in there. And remember, I, I track alcohol as carbs. And the reason being for that is um, there's no, see up here you see carbs, fats, and proteins. Um, they don't allow us to track grams of alcohol. Um, alcohol being the fourth macronutrient. So... In order to account for it, we just track it as carbs, right? We do the math for the calories and we do it divided into carbs, okay? That's a different video, but that's that. All right, so let's go ahead and say we are going to add, uh, what did she say here? Let's go back to her question. Uh, dal makhani, okay. Let's see what actually comes up. Not dal mash I. Okay. All right. So now you're going to get a bunch of different things. And this can be very confusing uh, because literally all of them have different. Like this one says six ounces is 27 carbs, two fats, blah, blah, blah. Let's go to the next one. This one's homemade. This is one serving. We don't really know what one serving is. Uh, is it 39 grams? We don't know, right? Um, and in actuality, 39 grams is um, one ounce is 28 ounce, uh, grams. So that's like a little bit more than an ounce. And for an ounce to have this many carbs and fats and protein doesn't make any sense. Um, so here's the trouble that we run into if you, if you don't go into, oh, there's some drawings here. Okay. So here's the thing. Okay. Very important to understand. If you remember, uh, we have the, we're using, uh, Okay, we got Jesus. Mm. Okay. So we have the TSM, the strength method, nutrition protocol. Okay. Basically, this is around, everything revolves around the food enjoyment matrix okay and there's three phases to this phase one is learn the basics okay phase two uh take the training wheels off phase three is the fancy shit okay now basically in phase three you can eat anything go anywhere whether they have calories whether they don't have calories and you'll know exactly how much you're eating okay but the thing with phase three is is like if you just want to go to phase three without phase one and two then you it's literally like it would be like saying, I just want to do calculus, but I don't want to learn, you know, the fundamentals of math. I don't want to learn 
uh, algebra, algebra one, algebra two, you're not going to be able to do it. Okay. Like, yeah, we can, we can show you a tick, uh, a few tips and tricks, but you're not really going to know calculus, right? Like you might know one thing, but you don't have an understanding of calculus because it's built on everything that came before it. So the question that she asked, okay, is actually a phase three situation here. Um, for somebody to make, so this is the kind of stuff that happens in phase three where like, okay, well, if your mom made this dal makani, cool. Like I know, and if you don't go phase through phase one and phase two, I know personally, um, that, you know, the, like, let's say I get a bowl of dal makani. I know I'm pretty good. I'm going to be pretty accurate in how much calories are in there. And I could tell you that, but you're, you knowing that doesn't stand on a solid foundation of understanding that is built through phase one and phase two. So phase one and phase two, and actually maybe we can pull this up here uh, because I just did a presentation on this. Uh, there are my abs. Okay. Let's see. There we go. Um, phase one consists of, let's go back to, so you can still see my handsome face here. Um, phase one consists of making your own food, using single ingredient foods, using boxed foods that are easy to calculate, minimizing contact with advanced situations the so like in order to start to learn the fundamentals you don't want to like if you were starting if you wanted to learn chess right you're not going to start off playing like uh the grandmaster you're you're going to start to learn basic moves and if you start to play against the grandmaster it's going to be you like you're going to get discouraged because you're not going to be able to do anything right so you want to make it as simple and easy as possible which is why we use things that are really that allow you to know like a very basic skill is like you know just knowing the measurements you know like i could tell you offhand that most meats are measured in four ounces if you go out to eat right you're, you're usually not going to get more than four ounces um one ounce is equivalent to 28 grams grams are equivalent to milliliters right you don't know these things until you're you stay in level in phase one and make your own foods so that means like you know i'll give you another example cheese cheese is always so in the serving size is always one ounce or 28 grams so i know that any pretty much any like if i go out to eat and i get some cheese on a burger and maybe they don't have nutritional information since i've spent so much time in phase one i know that that slice of cheese is probably going to be about 90 calories and I'm extremely accurate, right? But that hap but I don't know that if I didn't spend time in phase one, right? You'll know things like most dals are pretty much the same. So like as far as calories go. So like we'll even go in here. Let's go back. Um, let's go back to my fitness pal. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay, so instead of searching dal makani, right? Let's this is this is good right here. So red lentils. So all all dals are pretty much lentils, right? So let's just search one lentil. So let's look at brown lentils. So you're gonna start to notice these patterns, right? Uh let's go with Okay, so 100 grams is 13 carbs, six, uh, 0.6 fat, or, and uh, 12 protein. Um, I don't think this is actually... It's, this is the thing about... Uh, and actually, you know what? We can, we can do this pretty easily over here. We go to... Uh, I like going to Walmart, but like 
you can go anywhere. And so we'll go into red lentil. Because you need to look at the package to be able to know if to know if this number here is accurate, I need to look at what the package says. Okay, so let's let's take a look. Okay. All right. 50 grams is equivalent to 33 carbs and 12 protein. Okay. Now we're talking, right? So let's take a now let's look at this red lentil. Let's take a look. So see, you start to notice these things. One ounce, 28 grams, okay? Is 17 carb, seven protein, okay? All right. What was this one again? It was, it was actually 50 grams, so just about almost twice so that so these all these numbers all make sense let's take a look at this one and again one ounce 17 carb okay let's look at different lentils now the point that i'm trying to illustrate here is that once you start to see patterns that's what lets you go to phase two and phase three See, one ounce, 28 grams, 17 and seven. And you would not know, you won't know this if you skip over this. Uh, let's look at, let's look at these lentils. All right. Nutrition information here, okay. This is 38 grams, 22 carb, nine protein. So, Pretty, like fairly everything is pretty close right so now when i actually go into my fitness pal right and by the way so like i i would search in that way right so like if i know i'm eating red lentils i would go uh let's go goya right uh, let's go one ounce so see, right right around where those numbers are. So now I know that, you know, that so first is establishing the right amount, right? And then I'll I would do it by by ingredient. So what what is in dal makhani, right? So let's just do a quick this now see if you make your own food like this. This becomes much easier. But like once you do this and you spend some time, like my recommendation is, let's go here. Like I would say you got to spend at least 30 days in phase one, right? Probably more because you want to, you want to start to get all the patterns down, right? All you want to start to learn all these different things that you'll never know if you just try to skip it, right? Um, Phase two, okay, which is, which is, you know, eating out at calorie control places and still not making hard decisions when you go to different, you know, scenarios like eating out or going on vacation, etc. Phase two is, you know, um, it, it might last two to six months, right? And this is where you really learn to cook, but you also love to cook, okay? Because that's where phase three is that's what it's built on then you know these things like we've been kind of talking about right so let's let's go back and let's see what dal makhani recipes there are okay uh let's go let's go home style okay let's just pick we're gonna pick one right here okay so um let's take a look at the ingredients because that's really what I'm looking at. I hate how the ingredients lists are always buried like so deep. Okay. All right. Let's take a. Oh my god. 
Okay, so we have dal, 165 grams. Uh, another dal, 60 grams. Salt, water, okay, neither of those have calories. One tablespoon of ghee, okay? So this is another thing that you're going to learn. Like all fats, butters, oils, ghee, they're pretty much the same amount of calories. About 15 grams of fat per tablespoon, right? And so about 30, 130, I believe, calories. And we can just quickly check that real quick just so you can see. Butter, one tablespoon. Okay, 11 fat, 100 calories, right? Let's take a look at uh, clove butter. Uh, one, well, they do not have tablespoon. So this is, this is important to kind of start to learn. Um, let's see. One tablespoon, okay. So see, 11 and a half, 102. Let's go olive oil. Uh, one tablespoon, 13 grams of fat, right? So these are the things that you begin to learn, okay? So now I know that three tablespoons butter, garlic paste, those we're not gonna count calories, tomato puree, we're not gonna count calories. So the rest of these things, okay, we've got a little bit of sugar, a, a, a fourth of a cup of cream, more butter. So see, these are the things that begin to add calories. Now, though, um, I, I have an idea of what is in, let's go back here. How do we do this? Okay, so... Now we, now we can start to see, like, how am I actually going to track this stuff is because, one, I got to know the ingredients, right? Two, I would spend a lot of time in phase one. When I am in phase one, I start to know these patterns. Then that's what allows me to be able to eat mom's dal makhani and not be worried. Same thing goes with dal sabji, right? What are the ingredients of it? The ingredients of stuff is is what is going to tell you what to enter into my fitness pal because um if you just look for dal sabji you're gonna get all kinds of of answers here right okay we got more pictures of don't worry there's nothing, no inappropriate pictures in my camera roll, other than all my shirtless ones, but uh, where were we? Okay. Um, so, so that's kind of how you start to look at this stuff and begin to see, oh, okay, here we go. Uh, you know, what what does this mean like th this one see this is another one that's an error here like zero carb zero fat zero protein but it has 164 calories not possible these numbers have to be filled up to be equal to that over there so rather than looking at stuff randomly like this you would just search the ingredients so if you were making gajar di sabji right carrot uh sabji you would see like how many carrots are in there you would search carrots. That's the ingredient. You just, you start to see, you start to get these patterns, right? Like, okay, I know what three ounces looks like. So I'm going to put three ounces of carrots. And then there's potato. I know what, how many, uh, let's say, I okay, I know what three ounces looks like. I know what three ounces looks like because I've weighed it so many times. And so I would add it individually, but I would need to know, like, what are the ingredients of uh, Gajanandi Sabji? Potatoes? More specifically, which ingredients have calories? Potatoes, the carrots, and the oil. I'm not going to count the onions. I'm not going to count the spices. Those things don't have calories. Okay? And so that's how you do this. So this is a, a, a great question. And it's a phase three question. 
And you're not able to do this unless you spend enough time in phase one. Now, like I just showed you my thought process on how to do that. But, you know, you're, it's, not, it's not really meaningful to you because you don't know. Like if you have a bowl, right, of, of dal, you don't know. Like is that 28 grams? Is that 115 grams, which is equivalent to four ounces, right? So my recommendation, like if you want to make this easy and you like learn the spend, spend six months learning these skills and you'll be able to do anything you want, right? You'll never need to track if you don't want to, okay? But I, I don't like people say they want a, the most stress-free, enjoyable way. I'm like, there's nothing more stress-free than knowing with certainty. Like I love tracking my calories. I know exactly how much I'm eating, how much is here, how much is there, like, and so I can stay lean all year round and eat whatever I want. Most people are, like, have it backwards. They, they don't know the freedom that comes from the knowledge. So, anyways, I hope that's helpful. Like, this is the stuff that I work on with my clients. Um, we spend a lot of time in phase one, and, you know, um, we spend enough time in phase one and phase two. So then, then what I like to do is, you know, we start to explore phase three, but you have to have that foundation. So you can, you can do this on your own. If you, if you follow those three phases, right? Like I showed you, um, you know, th these are the three phases of, um, of the strength method nutrition protocol, right? It's all built around the um, the food enjoyment matrix, right? Which, you know, I'm going to keep doing, keep doing uh, videos on that, but everything is built around that. So um, if you ever, if this is helpful, l please like, comment, and share. Um, if you have questions, let me know, send me a message on Instagram at rambeard.sangara. Um, and if you want to apply for coaching, um, shoot me a message on Instagram and I'll send you the link. Uh, but there you go. Hopefully that answers your question. Um, I know that's a lot of information, but it just let it marinate over time. You'll, it'll make more and more sense. And like I said, if you spend time in phase one, phase three becomes easy. And your question really had to do with how do I make, how do I do this? And you could do the shortcut or you could do it the right way. So I will talk to you later.